If you were to survey 100 NBA fans, I'm sure the majority would say that international players are the softest. However, I'm not really sure that's the case as US coaches seem to be a lot softer on their players than their European colleagues, more specifically their colleagues from the Balkans. So let's take a look at a comparison of their coaching styles. I'm having points. I don't recognize what I'm seeing. We better wake up real soon. While Rick Carlisle has an infamous reputation on being harsh to his players and his point guards in particular, Luka Doncic would probably say that he isn't all that bad. In this play, we see a 16-year-old Luka turning the ball over, forcing his coach Pablo Lasso to call a timeout. Now check out what happened next. To put things into perspective, Luca's draft class is still in high school while this play is happening. So while they're worrying about homework and making it to class on time, he's playing a key role against top European teams. And after a timeout like this, how did he respond? Well, he made three consecutive threes, convincing NBA scouts he is a bona fide superstar and a potential first pick. So far, yeah, I got a couple of rebounds in traffic. Doncic left alone, he'll try it again. Three pointer, second one for the 16 year old. Kind of keeping Madrid close right now. Doncic, he'll try it again. Number three, yep, and number th Next up, we have Yasmin Repesha, a legendary Croatian coach who throughout his career coached the national team, numerous EuroLeague teams, and was involved in the development of current Croatian NBA players such as Šarić, Hezonja, and others. He is also notable for keeping Brandon Jennings on a tight leash during his rookie season in Lotomatica Roma. We are taking shots from nine meters here. They are in bonus, guys. Smart, give the ball inside. What he said, God, screen is screen, makes go free throws, go free throw line. Stanko, Balkanics. Now, if you want to win in Europe, just hire this guy. He's won nine different EuroLeague titles with five different teams. The footage you just saw was actually from a preseason game, and it's easy to tell he wasn't happy with the way his team was playing. His name is Željko Obradović. He comes from Serbia, and he is considered to be the European Greg Popovic. Basketball is to box out also. Basketball is to understand that the ball is over here in the middle. Basketball is to go with your player to the receiver. Uh, basket, okay. So, go out. Uh, Guduric, go inside. Okay. Okay. Ivo Marco, Ivo Marco, try to do something for him, man. Eh? 
Can I do them for something for team? At this point, you're probably wondering if all European coaches are like this. And to be honest, not all of them are. But the great ones seem to be kind of savage. And most of the great ones were mentored or inspired by this guy, Dusan Ivkovic, aka Duda. Duda's resume is so extensive that we honestly don't have the time to mention all of his accomplishments. So we'll just let you enjoy his coaching style. In 1987, Larry Brown led the USU-19 team that featured the young Gary Payton and Larry Johnson to the FIBA World Cup Finals. They lost to a young Yugoslavian team led by MVP Tony Kukoc and future NBA stars Vlade Divac and Dino Raja. And their coach? None other than legendary Serbian coach Svetislav Pesci. Ja, 
kraju druge četvrtine krita minuta 36 sekund. Moj kura sve pravi samo. Ja sam ti rekao da je nevno sam. Ja te molaš ovo je los. A nemoj pope da mi se jedno vršiš. Nemoj da mi se jedno vršiš. Najstarišći. Zgledaj ruke. I vidi. Neću da vidi da bilo to sa sudjeva komentira. Molim vas, momci. Nema razgovora sa sudjeva. Gdje ćeš u pičku materi u tome? Gdje ćeš ti? Jebem ti Boga u pičku srbiju. Ajde, ajde, dobro je, samo igraj, samo igraj. Idi, ko te čuva? Pa stani u blok, ko ga čuva, Lendu, daj mu blok, pomozite mu jebo. Reći ste mi o čemu se radi, bravo. Počinjemo utakmicu, nemošte dva minuta, agresivno da odigrate. Da mi puštite, alo, zlatate, u tanju, tri bloka preskačeš, jedin. Kako, dok se ćemo da vas čekamo, alo? Neću te, još što bre, jebo vas bolu, više ukrilo je samo. Sram vas, bilo bre, jebo vas bolu. Ja mi, tu saj, jesu, kad se šutne, idite na skok, ne vraćite se nazad, alo, alo. Šutne se, niko ne ide na skok, u odboru ne postojimo, alo. Primaju prvi plas kako hoće, igraju pik kako hoće, alo. I ostavite priču s udijama, no igrajte, alo. So are NBA players stronger and more athletic than the average European player? Sure they are. But are they mentally tougher than the average European player? Maybe not. Because to be able to take the kind of verbal abuse displayed in this video and still remain professional takes a lot of nerves as well as patience. So are European coaches kind of nuts? And are European players tougher than they seem? Let us know what you think guys. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more great basketball content. Thank you for watching.